here's an update on the, um, I mean the graphene that I made with a blender, water, soap, and alcohol. And blended it maybe 30 seconds a day for mm, two or three weeks. And then let it dry out. But it took a long time to dry out to this powder. And we're going to check the resistance on the powder. This is difficult to do. That's about one inch apart. And that's about 100K. <clears throat> now I'm going to try another piece. And just lay the probes in there and some powder. a centimeter apart what does that say oh, it's jumping around Let's see if I can get this to stay here some powder. I'm going to lump some powder up. See if I can get this together. Okay, I'm going to put it on a chunk of powder that's still in a square format. Two hundred and seventy ohms, two hundred and sixty ohms, somewhere in there. Okay, now I'm pressing down. They're about a centimeter apart. I'm pressing down. Let's put a little more on there just to see what happens. There's some more. I'm going to press down. Looking at 11 ohms, somewhere in that neighborhood. 12. And they're about that far apart. Okay, this is the dried up stuff <clears throat> after it's been sitting for, oh, several months and as you can see it's dried let's go into it and see what kind of a reading we have that's about an inch and a half apart let's see what we got. this is dried powder between 100 ohms 121 somewhere in that neighborhood About a centimeter apart. Let's try this with some more dry powder. So it varies. <coughs> the dry powders vary from hardly any resistance. So there's 25 ohms right there. That's about a centimeter apart. <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to turn it back into a fluid and I'm going to put a piece of plastic in it and then let it soak that up for a while and see what happens to that. Okay, thanks. Bye.